am Kara from Health, Home, and Happiness, and right now we are going to talk about the gut-brain connection. The gut-brain connection is what gut and psychology syndrome diet is based on. It's about healing the gut so that brain disorders like anxiety, depression, or even autism or an ADD are all either helped or eliminated. The gut-brain connection works in three different ways. There is gut bacteria that line your gut and it's your normal flora. Usually you get this from your mom when you're born as you're traveling down the birth canal you pick up her gut flora and it inoculates your digestive tract. In a lot of our modern culture our gut flora that we're getting from our mom is not so great. She's been on antibiotics that maybe wiped out her normal gut bacteria or she's had different pathogenic bacteria take up residence or yeasts and these are being passed along to her babies. So the theory with the gut-brain connection is that it's this passing down of pathogenic gut flora um, that's causing the rise in symptoms like, or syndromes like autism, Asperger's, ADD, anxiety, depression, all those kinds of things. So the first part of the gut-brain connection is to get the correct flora into the person that's being affected as digestive tract. This usually happens by introducing probiotics. Um, in the forms of yogurt, kefir, or fermented foods like sauerkraut and kimchi. Usually a combination of all three. And it's also about the GAPS diet works to starve out the pathogenic bacteria by only consuming starch or only consuming sugars, um, no starches or complex carbohydrates that are digested, digested down low. So we consume things like fruits and honey in, in, in sparing amounts so that it's all digested up high and those sugars don't make it down to where the pathogenic bacteria are living down in the gut. And then another way that the gut brain connection works is that our the tissue in our brain and the tissue in our gut is obviously connected. If you think about how you get an upset stomach when you're nervous or if you panic, you also get digestive distress like you stop digesting your food well. This is the gut-brain connection. And so when we are under a lot of stress, like a lot of us are in our modern, cult our modern culture, our gut becomes more permeable, which means more things go through. And if they go through without digesting, our body it has an inflammatory response and it also has an allergic response because it sees undigested particles of like wheat or milk or anything that people are allergic to now, which is quite a bit that go through this permeable gut membrane that's not supposed to be so permeable and then the body attacks it like it's attacking a foreign object. This is where we get our autoimmune, our body's just attacking too much of our good tissue, or our food allergies, which are so common in GAPS patients.